As we ready for the debut of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, Warner Brothers and Entertainment Weekly released a new image that showcases Gal Gadot and her Amazon warriors that include her mother, Hippolyta, played by Connie Nielsen, and her military aunts, Robin Wright and Lisa Levin Kongsley. This comes after a survey was released by Fandango saying audiences are actually more excited by the prospect of seeing Wonder Woman. 88% of fans surveyed are excited to see the Amazon warrior played by Gadot finally realized on screen. Of the survey, 82% saw Man of Steel, 66% are fans of director Zack Snyder, and 61% said they would see Batman vs. Superman more than once. The movie is currently at 98% with fans as a must-see. Mark, what do you think of the new image and of fans wanting to see Wonder Woman the most? Well, I think the image that we just showed is not the new image from Entertainment Weekly that we're excited to talk about, although that was a very nice-looking graphic. You can go to Collider.com, right, Frosty, right now, and you can check out. It's a picture of you have an image of Wonder Woman and then you have the three other women around her and they all look badass and ready to go in some very distant looking place so I thought the first image or it's not the first image but to see these new characters for the first time I thought it was very well done and it comes on the heels like Ashley said of this poll where everybody is excited to see Wonder Woman in this movie so before we talk about that poll because there's some interesting tidbits in there I would just want to talk about the picture that we did get a chance to take a look at for the very first time for Frosty, what was your take on that? I think it looks great, and uh, everyone I've spoken to that's involved in the making of Wonder Woman has been speaking so highly of her and of the script and of the movie that uh, this image just reinforces what I'm hearing, which is how good that movie is going to be. Schnapp? Yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, it was cool to see all four of those Amazons in armor. I mean, like, you haven't seen it yet because we haven't put it up, but go to Collider.com, I guess, and check it out. I don't know where the picture is, but uh, when you see it, you'll be freaked out, especially if you if you dig Wonder Woman. You're going to see the lady who played her mom, Robin Wright. She's playing. Uh, don't I, quote me on I how you she say plays it. the aunt. Oh, really? Yeah. Robin Wright's the, uh, yeah, Connie Nielsen from Friday Night ah. Lights and uh, that other show is uh, playing her mom. Now, so. I want to say it's Hippolyta, but uh, I don't know. It's not, uh, Hippolyta or Hippolyta? I don't know my Greek too well, but you know, <laughs> figure it out. There's a lot of other names that I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce. We were all spoken at the pre-meeting, yeah. and you know, Ashley and Schnepp were talking about how you don't want to just go ahead and assume that a woman's name <laughs> I is Hippolyta. I thought Hippo it was Hippolyta. I thought yeah. it was Hippolyta. It, I would go with Hippolyta too. I mean, but then I, I would say hungry, hungry Hippolyta if you were going to say that, because that's not the way to say it. I think that would be making the issue worse, no, and that, that your friends be. would never give you Christmas gifts, regardless of what day. I say, year bring it was. on them haters is what I'd say. What's up? So anyway, I think that I cannot wait to see one. Wonder Woman. I thought Batman v Superman, one of the things that it did right was introducing, even though it was vague booked and like motiv motivational, didn't know where she came from. She's getting on a plane. Uh, you know, where is she going? Who is she? Mysterious. But uh, I thought her as Wonder Woman, once she finally pops up, you know, she shows up because Warner Brothers did a great job of spoiling that in trailers from like seven months ago. But so we know she's in the movie, but when she I, actually I, does show I, up. I, I don't think you can blame Warner Brothers for spoiling Wonder Woman being in the movie. She's a huge part of the marketing no, campaign. I, and like, look, when, she's, what I'm saying, actually what I am saying is them spoiling it by, it's called Batman v Superman. And then they show Batman, is she with you? I thought she was with you. <laughs> oh, they're chums <laughs> and they're with Wonder Woman. That's what I'm talking about. Stupidity at its maximum, mm -hmm. most amazing density. <laughs> right there. I, I, so I think I, that I person cut the trailers the out. Complaint, but I am going to point out this is that this poll that Ashley brought up where you have 88% oh, of people are excited what? to see Wonder Woman. Here it There's is. The picture. <laughs> There's the picture. 88. Screw that. Now it's 100% of people got to be excited by this new image that now we have here at Movie Talk because we may be a little bit late, but we never mess up Can it go story. full frame? Can can the kids at home watch, see a big picture? You, you just You're asking too much. You're asking more. too much. You just keep wanting more. They see the uh. picture. So that's Wonder Woman right there. I feel like, a, like a weatherman. Okay. Okay, so that's Wonder Woman right there, all right? <laughs> and then Hippolyta is going to be in the picture, too. Who's this? Uh, that is uh, that is not Connie mm -hmm. Nielsen nor Robin Wright. That's uh, Lisa <laughs> Loven uh, and um, <laughs> I'm getting the names, you know? The it's a movie's coming out, and then, you know, not, not tomorrow. So. It's, a, it's a cool picture. We have some time to get ready for this, but it, that picture, uh, you know, Frost, you, you bring up a great point, is that everything that we, albeit the slim things we have seen, 
uh, teasing this movie so far, it seems to be like they're making all the right plays. When you go all the way back to when Gal Gadot was first cast as Wonder Woman, and everybody's like, ah, we haven't really seen her prove herself on stage. I mean, right. you know, her her turn in Furious <laughs> 6 isn't going to make me say, oh, no, that's got to be Wonder Woman. But so far, and I'll include my review of Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice, which is also in the title of the movie, is that I thought she was really well used, and she gave a very good performance as Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. 88% of people want to see her in the movie, which is more than Batman or Superman. So you can talk about how maybe the trailers gave away too much. But them showing Wonder Woman seem to be them wanting to appeal to a wider demographic or at least a different demographic. It looks like they hit the nail on the head, right? They had no choice. I mean, this is a movie that you have to get women in the theater and having a strong female protagonist resonates with so many people, myself included. And I think... After everyone sees the movie this weekend, I think we're all going to agree she was perfectly cast. She's great in the movie. She kicks so much ass. Yeah. You know, and she's one of the highlights of the film. People are going to be cheering when she shows up. I mean, it's a really great introduction. And I thought Gal Gadot was amazing as Wonder Woman and as Princess Diana. I thought she was a perfect choice. I, it's so funny to hear you say Princess Diana. I was like, wait, she didn't play. Oh, yeah. She, that's, right. that's also <laughs> they didn't really the call her that in the movie. There, in the movie. So there's the poll. I mean, look, you have 88% of people want to see uh, Wonder Woman. 82% saw Man of Steel. 66 are fans of Zack Snyder. And 61% said they would see Batman and Superman more than once. And it's a 98 percentage with fans. Now, look, a lot of it has been made about the Rotten Tomatoes score. That's not where you would want it. But keep in mind, the fans really are excited to see this movie. And I don't want my review, not anybody's take on Batman v Superman to dampen your dreams of going into this movie and loving it. It comes out tonight for the very first time for everybody to see. So we all say, hey, go to a theater and enjoy the hell out of this event film. And now we get Wonder Woman pictures, which and is just an added You can bonus. see it in IMAX, see it in IMAX, because there are several sequences that are in full IMAX, and it's, they're astonishingly amazing to watch. I, I fully, fully agree. Uh, the IMAX stuff in Batman and Superman is like on the level of Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. It, it's jaw-dropping. Yeah, it's really a very is. nice presentation. Have fun at the movies this weekend. This clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.